What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. Today's episode, we are still diving in Crystal River. This is a follow-up episode from the last one. Last episode, we shot some nice gags and shot some nice mangroves. The goal of today's episode was to find some even bigger gags, but unfortunately, we didn't find any that were bigger than the last time. So, I see diving a ledge, and a pretty nice mangrove swam right in front of me. I think he ended up being about 22 inches, and I landed a really nice stone shot with that uh, that pole spear. So, pretty happy about my first dive of the day. Landed in a really nice mangrove. Hey guys, Ben here. So this is my first drop of the day on this nice natural ledge line. Um, as I'm coming down to the bottom, you can see all these snapper just suspended up in the water column. I'm going really slow and being careful not to spook them back down to the structure. Um, and me just suspended above him catches his attention. He gets curious, turns sideways, take the broadside shot, and then just kept pressure on the fish and kept him from going down to the bottom. Um, after that, just pulled the fish up to me and then uh, took him to the boat. And that was my first really nice snapper of the day. So I've been using this pole spear a lot more recently. The goal is to get pretty good with it. I want to do a trip to the Bahamas somewhat soon, but obviously haven't had the time to get over there. But still, it is pretty fun to shoot this pole spear, even if I'm not going over there right now. But saw a nice mangrove right there that I really wanted to shoot and kind of just waiting for him. As you can see, the pole spear is still a little bent in the front and I was shooting pretty low on all these shots, but Still, it's pretty fun to use it and shooting at some nice mangroves. Hey guys, Ben again. So I've done several passes up and down this ledge number. There's chunks and whatnot. And I was just checking everything out. So after passing this sort of zone of it a couple different times, um, I saw a really nice snapper kind of out in the distance and they wouldn't come close. Um, they kind of see me just swimming around covering ground on my first couple dives. So what I decided to do was something called a spedo diving where you go down to the bottom, you hang out, and you just lay there. Um, you use patience, um, you can grunt, you can scratch, you can you know toss up sand, anything like that. Kind of get their attention, make them curious, and hopefully have a, a better one come on over. Sometimes they'll see you and just get curious. So as you can see, I'm laying waiting here. This one catches my eye. He kind of gets spooked a little bit. He loops off, turns right back around. I don't, I'm not chasing him or anything, so he's not spooked. Came right back around, took that good holding shot, um, and then uh, just made my way over to the fish. Made sure he wasn't rocked up and uh, was just free of all the structure, since I still had some bottom time in me. Um, and then got my hands on the fish, secured him, and then took him to the boat. And that was my second really nice snapper of the day. So Ben just secured his second nice mangrove, and as you see I'm going down. Looking at some pretty good mangroves on the bottom line up on this one, shoot right over him, and obviously I didn't in even injure that fish. But the nice thing about a pole spear is you don't have to swim back up to reload it. So, stay on the bottom, the slip is still on the front of it, and I'm looking for another nice one. Reloaded in about five seconds, so not a big deal. Line up on this one right here, shoot really low, not enough to really even injure the fish. So he definitely is still swimming out there. Hey guys, Ben again. So after doing some dives out in the open um, and taking some of those snapper, I'd seen some gags out in the sand. So I did a drop intentionally off the ledge line. Um, I ended up landing right on top of this one. Kicked a little bit hard there to close the gap. Took a long shot. Um, I hit him right in the gill plate. Really great holding shot. And then I didn't want to blow anything um, out off of the ledge, farther down the ledge. So I pulled the fish to me instead of swimming to towards him. Um, once I got him over to me, got my hands on him, and then I took him up to the surface and to the boat. And that was my first good gag of the day. So Ben just shot that nice gag off this ledge, but other than that, we weren't really seeing anything too good. So we kind of decided that we were going to move spots. And as you see, going down just in hopes of shooting one more mangrove or something like that. And a nice one swims up to me. I had a perfect holding shot right in the face. Obviously, you have to secure the fish with the pole spear, unless you have a belt reel or a float line, but in this case, I didn't. We were only diving about 35 to maybe 40 feet of water here, so it's definitely not pushing yourself distance. So, 
Land a nice holding shot and swim up to the surface. So now we move spots. We're on some tanks here and I got down to the bottom and my pulse speed wasn't set up right. The, the second band wasn't tight enough. So as you see, going around the corner, been down here for a while already. And all these kegs are pretty small, the biggest one being about maybe nine pounds. So I didn't really feel like taking a shot on any of those guys and kind of just kept on moving. So this here is Ben's clip. He is diving a different tank here and he slowly swims to the side here. Looks up under there and obviously there's no gags up under there so he swims up a little bit notices there's a pretty big window and he's got one band off already so he swims up in here hoping to see some pretty good mangroves and as you see there's a ton of them but nothing too big just yet and in a little bit you'll see right here that a nice one swims out in front of him and he decides to take the shot obviously the fish is not crazy far up in here and there is a little open hatch on the top you can get up in there and access your shaft and all that stuff in case that fish gets really stuck so Ben takes a shot swims on out of there and um, heads on up to the surface we're only in about 25 feet of water here so it's nothing too deep and he swims right back down under there he's looking around making sure he's not going to get stuck or anything like that there's nothing really blocking his path, so swims all the way up under there, grabs this fish. It's pretty much dead, so it's not putting up any of a, any fight or anything like that. So he slowly backs his way out of there, makes sure he's got the fish and all that stuff, and secures a really nice mango snapper. I think it ended up being like the third biggest of the day, so not too bad. As you see, he throws the shaft out so he doesn't have to deal with all that and the fish and all that stuff. So, heads out with the fish and So Ben just secured that nice mangrove out of his tank and at about just the same time I noticed that on my tank I had a slot just like his and there were some nice mangroves in there. And there's that one sitting right there. I saw him swim into that little hole. I didn't think I was going to see him again once I saw him go in there. But he did swim out back towards me again. And I was still just watching it. But finally he swam out far enough to where I could really see him. Lined up on him. Waited for him to turn a little bit. Took a shot right through the cheek. But somehow the the slip tip didn't even deploy. So I didn't land that, hog, or that, that uh, mangrove at all. So now we move spots, we're even shallower. We're in about maybe 15 feet of water here. And I saw a bunch of nice mangroves, nothing too crazy compared to what we were shooting earlier, but still it was pretty fun to hunt some of them in the shallower water. The biggest one out of the school swims right up to me. And a nice shot in him, and obviously make sure to secure him. So I secured that nice mangrove there and now I'm diving a little bit farther up. There's a hogfish right there. I'm looking at him. He's probably about 16 and a half inches. Not a giant, but he's definitely legal. And he started swimming away. I was holding another hogfish in my hand. Unfortunately, I don't have the clip of me shooting him. I tried recording about three times, but trust me, it wasn't too special of a clip. It was basically on the surface so that one turned broadside got a nice shot completely stoned him and as you see here in a second hold up both hogfish that I shot basically back to back great way to end the day just got back to the house got a bunch of nice mangroves two good hogfish and then a bunch of good gags here we go this is a combination of two days, so some pretty nice fish. This guy shot on a pole spear. He was almost a world record, 17.8 pounds, 34 inches long. Pretty good fish there. Hopefully gonna get a, a bigger one and beat the world record soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button and we'll catch you in the next one.